Hi there, I'm King Grim, or the Game Games, whatever you prefer, and welcome to another episode of CDLC. Where I take a look at the DLC I bought and consider whether or not it was worth my money. Now in this episode I will talk about Street Fighter V's free update that brings in a story mode. Now I know what you're thinking, well if this is a free update, why would this be in CDLC? Because I didn't buy it. Well, I bought the game, and when it first came out it wasn't really contentful, yet as the time has gone by, they've added more and more stuff into the game. So in this CDLC I will talk about if the game is worth buying now. Now just for a little note, the review is here, you can click on it. But right now, is the game more worth buying now with all the new content? Well, definitely since the release. First I'll talk about story and then everything they've added on. The story starts off by showing us Charlie Nash waking up from a grave where he meets a Russian woman who is willing to help him get revenge on Bison. If he helps her stop something called the Black Moons, which are flying death machines that feeds on negative emotions that boosts M. Bison's with his power, psycho power. So every character goes to their own team where they try to figure out how to stop Shadowloo and end the tyrants' rule once and for all. Okay, first the good, the music in the story great. Some themes even better than the characters they're used for. Laura is the greatest example without a doubt, so I hope they will make it possible to get the soundtrack from the story mode over to the main game or something like that. Another thing that I liked was how there are tons of different stages, some better than others of course, but it does make the story feel different. As there are tons of fights, even with characters that you can't play as, the dolls and even freaking Commissioner Jim Gordon. The, the thing I'm a bit more in between about is the cutscenes. Mostly because they're not pre rendered, so you will see tons of this. Stuff like this, no matter what game, annoys me to no end and takes me out of the immersion. The reason I don't find this on the negative side completely is because the game looks nice when it uses the character models in game, rather than having made a cutscene beforehand that it will load into. And that is a negative the loading. As there are tons of loading screens, which was a problem I have with this game as I mentioned in my review. And some textures look really bad as well, usually the background stuff, but passingly, sometimes the camera focuses on the bad stuff because, I don't know, cinematic. The narrative in itself isn't super interesting, as every character is really one dimensional, definitely the ones I hoped I would get more character uh, from with this mode, but it did hold my interest until the ending. It also showed me some characters I've never seen before, as Street Fighter V is the first Street Fighter I've really spent time on. So the story is so and so, and I can't say I would have paid money for it, but it was interesting in its own right. Now the main game has gotten some updates as time has run its course, and I'll now tell all about it. A story mode, challenge mode to learn the different characters, online lobbies that can now hold more than just two players, a store where you can buy the alternate costumes, stages, colors, etc. with either fight money or real cash. And that's about it. I'm still surprised that the game doesn't have anything like an arcade mode as the game still lacks, even with all the updates, uh, single player content. Yes, there is a story mode, but the thing is, when it comes to fighters, I only play through the story one time twice when it came to Injustice because I really liked it, but it uh, I'm not gonna replay it again just to play against the CPU, so it shouldn't be that hard to create an arcade mode. So is the game worth it now? Well, it really depends on what you want. The single player is still lacking, but they've added it so it's easier to learn characters and that you can play with more people online without any problem. But anyway, I'm King Grim, or King Games, whatever you prefer. And I'll see you guys next time! <laughs>